for week nine in the NFL, we got a pair of teams that first matched up in 1967. The Falcons and Saints come together for the 105th time. Next on EA Sports. It is always a celebration here in the city of New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Superdome. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as they're saying, come out throwing here on first down forced out to his left and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down so Charles you know offensively this group really playing at a high level seven and oh and we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season I think but to use a golf expression no blemishes on the card at least to this point yeah, I'm like my teenage year. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Well, let's see here, Charles. He was sacked six times last week. Now a first quarter sack. What's going on in his mind? Well, he's thinking to himself, five offensive linemen. I got sacked six times last week. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. So, Charles, a tough task for this defense facing the league's leading passer to this point in the season. Certainly a front runner in MVP consideration right now. What, what can they do to slow him down? Well, there's so many different ways that they can go, and I'll guarantee you that defensive staff went through all of them this week in preparation. The bottom line, they want to avoid giving up the big play. They're going to play what they call top-down defense and make sure no one gets behind them. Second and one. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And the Falcons are going to get the football here as they force the INT. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll find its tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 23 yards on the play. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. He finds his man, Johnson. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Buying time to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Throw left side complete to Troutman. And he'll get this. to throw now on first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, and it's second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. 
finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Is a defense what a nuisance when you look on the other side and they've got a tight end that can run a post route like that. And you felt the ground shake, didn't you? Oh, you've been all the way up here in this booth. How about when he grabbed the football? You could see the terror as everyone was thinking. Do I want to try and tackle that big man? And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He'll look to throw. Dance into his left. And he's got it. Touchdown! Jerome Johnson with touchdown number 12 of the year. And the Saints have moved down in front. And so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness. The They'll look to throw here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now back to throw. Steps away to his left. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So that challenge is successful one. Buying time to his left. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's hauled in by Nick Vanell. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 28. 15 yards there on the catch and run. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. But there's no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. They'll set up to throw. Flushed out right. And he's got his target, Harris. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle. But they allow the conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Saints! Jerome Johnson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints now at six to their lead. And that third down call, the goal. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Being chased out left. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. 
We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. I know that no game in the NFL is ever easy, but they're making it look that way. Everything is being done with such precision. Just on this drive alone, three plays, three first downs. If you're on defense, you're scrambling, looking at each other, trying to figure out how are we going to slow these guys down. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. He'll drop to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. The way he's been slinging it in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Steps away to his left. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Back to throw here. Buying time to his left. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown! Adam Troutman with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Try and start this drive in the air. Being chased out left. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And this... They'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Forced out to his left. On the left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. And that one drops down incomplete. Good. Coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Uses the stiff arm, and he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They get 7 out of that, so they're left with a 3rd and 3. Up, 
They'll look to throw again. Steps away to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost... From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. Now he would be through it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Glad the great city of New Orleans. Like along here in the third quarter, second and ten. They'll look to throw. A tight end Troutman. And he was able to shed one tackle. Could not get away from there. They'll get a three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Back to throw. Being chased out left. And that is incomplete. They'll come here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that with 15 first. They show run. Three tight ends first down. Looking to throw. They're brought in and the foul get there for the sack. Quickly, they get to the line. To throw. Dance into his left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. They're going to look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he's left no option here but to throw it away. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Steps away to his left. A short one to the tight end. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Second and four. Eluding the pressure right. He's got the tight end, Vanell. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 17 yards on the catch. But it's a first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. to throw now first down. Buying time to his left. The left side complete to Troutman. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And this one is incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They went downfield, but came up Flushed out right. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Back 
to throw again. Dancing to his left. This is caught. But he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. So just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick... And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. I've heard you use it. to throw here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Flush to his right. Johnson's got it complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. Buying time to his left. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown, Saints! Adam Troutman, his 21st. to go in a game that's already been decided. Second and two. Being chased out left. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points continually feeling they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking, they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Saints, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they drop back to 500 now at four up and four down. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys.